One of the first reported cases of a respiratory illness potentially caused by vaping right here in Knoxville. East Tennessee Children's Hospital confirming a teenage patient was recently hospitalized with symptoms the CDC says are common in the cases they are now investigating. New here at 5, WATE 6 on your side, reporter Kirsty Crawford joining us here in the studio after talking with the chief medical officer about this case. Yeah, and Kirsty, I know they're telling you it's been hard right now to determine the root cause of this teen's illness. Yes, the chief medical officer tells me that right now the only way to determine if a respiratory illness was caused by vaping is to rule out every other possible cause first. We've reported one case to the Department of Health that had uh, features just like what the CDC is reporting. Pneumonia in both lungs, difficulty breathing, fever, weight loss, lack of oxygen, symptoms linking respiratory cases across the country to vaping. X-rays usually looking like this, very cloudy compared to healthy lungs. Dr. Joe Childs, the chief medical officer at East Tennessee Children's Hospital, saying one more clue also ties the cases together. Normally with kids like that, especially in the teenage years, we find a cause for it when they present like that. In our case, uh, no cause was found. Childs, working in the pediatric intensive care unit for 31 years, says an infection or bacteria usually causes such life-threatening cases. Unlike cigarettes, which are known to cause serious health problems later in life, Child says vaping seems to affect the body sooner and drastically. Some of these patients have lost a fair amount of weight uh, by the time they get to the hospital, uh, but they're likely continuing to vape. So they've they're, they've gotten sick and they're getting sicker. Child's also saying the road to recovery is long and painful. This one teen in Texas in the hospital for 18 days, the only explanation doctors could find, vaping. The one teen here at Children's Hospital staying for a week before deemed stable enough to be transferred to a hospital in their home state. Child saying parents really need to warn their children, show them what's happening across the country. When you're a teenager, you feel like you're invincible, but uh, this, is a, this is a dangerous activity and it can knock you down. Child says it's terrifying that the number of cases are growing fast. On Wednesday, the CDC was investigating 149 reports of illnesses possibly caused by vaping. Today, the CDC upped that number to 153. Thank you, Kirsty. You know, UT Medical Center spokesperson saying that they don't have any recorded cases because there is not a clear way to determine if vaping was the cause. Again, according to health officials in Illinois, they actually believe they have had the first reported death now linked to vaping. This is obviously something we will yeah. stay on top of. All right, new here.